What's going on people back at it again with another amazing video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can sideload apps from your phone to your Fire Stick. Sideloading is basically your can your Fire Stick and your remote is connected to the same Wi-Fi and it transfers applications that you have on your phone to your Fire Stick. Okay? The first thing you're going to do is you're going to go over here to settings. On your fire stick you're going to go over to where it says my fire device or it could be um your it could say my device you're going to click that then you're going to just go down to developers options you're going to click that make sure these two are on okay they're going to say off if you have them off but if you already have them on great now you're going to make sure they're just on now the next thing you're going to do is kick about and you're going to go into network okay now, write, get a pen and or a paper or a pen or pencil with paper and write your IP address down. Okay. Once you have your IP address the way it is, exactly it is. Okay. Next step you're gonna do is now you're gonna go to your phone. Okay. So let me back out of this real quick. Now the next step, like I said, you're gonna go to your phone and here we go. Okay. Now. The next step you're going to do is go to your Play Store because the application you're going to need is in your Play Store. Okay. And you're going to write that there. Easy Fire Tools. Okay. Let me back out. Just show you real quick. You're going to write Easy Fire Tools and they should prompt you to this. Then from this point, you're going to hit install. Once you install it and it's ready to go, it's going to say open. Okay. So you're going to hit open and you're, it should open like this. Okay, so just allow it because it wants to connect to uh, you might get prompted some screens, sub screens. You just want to allow it and then because it wants to connect uh, to your uh, phone. Now, just the key thing is too, you want to have this your phone connected on your Wi-Fi and and your fire stick on the Wi-Fi and the same Wi-Fi. Okay, so from this point, you're going to hit this little menu button right here. Okay, and you're going to go into settings right here. And you're going to go to your Fire TV IP, okay? So remember I told you guys to write down your Fire Stick IP address? Write that in there exactly the way it is. Once you have it, just hit OK. Okay, once you have that, okay, you're going to see, you're going to back out of this. And then now the next thing you want to do is you want to connect it to your Fire Stick. See this little plug here? You're going to click that, okay? Click that, and it's going to say trying to connect, all right? Now, like I said, you see how it's, it mine's automatically say connect? On your screen, on your Fire Stick, you're going to see a, a, a window come up saying allow debugging to connect or something like that. You're going to hit always, you're going to hit um, always connect to debugging and click OK, okay? Once you get that, you're going to hit OK, and it's going to go through the process, and then you should be good. And you're going to see this here, green. Just remember, you're going to see a, a sub-window come up on your Fire Stick saying, Allow to debugging. It click the little box that says, Always Allow, and hit OK, and you should be good, and it should connect. So the next step you're going to do is just pick an application you want to upload. So we want to upload, let's say, BTV. You click BTV, it says install the app BTV onto your Fire TV. Just give it a second. It's transferring the information from your phone to your Fire Stick, okay? Give it one second. Okay, so now you see the process. It says installing, and you see how it says operation successful. From that point, you're done with the phone. You should see something on your screen, television screen, that says it's added, okay? And if you don't, don't freak out. I'm gonna show you how um, to pull it up. All right, so now we go back to the phone. All right, back to All right, uh, so we're back to the Fire Stick. And what you wanna do from this point is, see how we installed BTV, okay? I have it here, okay? But just to show you, because it won't show up on your home screen, Okay, 
hit there. You want to go to your settings. You go to click down to applications. Then you're going to click down to manage applications. And you see, I have two BTVs. Okay. I have the older one and the newer one. Okay. Now you're like, well, how can I put it on the home screen? Real simple. You're going to go down to where it says your apps and channels. Then you're going to go all the way over to where it says see all. Okay. Just again, remind you, you're on your home screen. Click down, click down, down your apps and channels all the way over to see all. Click see all. And any new apps that you install into your device will always be on the bottom of this screen. And from this point, you're going to hit the three lines on your remote. It's the right side of the house button. You're going to click that. And then you see how it says move or move to front. Just click move to front, click the house button or the house button to uh, pull it to the home screen. And there you go. It's in the front. There you go. That's how you guys um, upload or sideload apps to your Fire Stick from your phone. You pretty much could do any apps, but I'm just letting you know there's some apps that will not install into your Fire Stick. Okay. Um, there's Exodus TV. I know there's a couple of them that will not upload to your Fire Stick. So if you try it and it won't work, you know what I mean? Don't get all pe you know, don't get upset or anything. It's just like that. Some applications will not work for the Fire Stick, but majority will. And there you go. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys enjoyed the video, please hit the like button, subscribe, as well as share my video and um, my channel, as well as check out my Facebook support group and my Twitter. Um, hope to hear from you guys on there and have a great evening.